Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into automation, AI workflows, or just trying to make your life easier by getting software to do the heavy lifting, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of two heavyweights in the AI automation space, Gumloop and NA10. I've been using both tools for a while now, tinkering with their features, building workflows, and putting them through their paces to see what they're really capable of. And let me tell you, this is not an easy choice. Both platforms are powerful, but they cater to slightly different crowds and use cases. So whether you're a marketer, a developer, a startup founder, or just someone curious about automating repetitive tasks, stick around because I'm going to break it all down for you. So why are we comparing Gumloop and NA10? Well, automation is the name of the game in 2025. Businesses and individuals are racing to streamline processes, integrate AI into their workflows, and save time. Gumloop and NA10 are two tools that promise to help you do just that, but they approach it in very different ways. Gumloop is a newer player designed with a note code AI first philosophy, aiming to make automation accessible to everyone, from marketers to ops teams. NA10, on the other hand, has has been around since 2019, is open source, and leans heavily into flexibility and customization, especially for those who don't mind getting a bit technical. I've spent months building workflows, testing integrations, and even hitting up their communities to get a feel for what real users think. Today, I'm going to share my honest take on what each tool does well, where they fall short, and which one I pick if I had to choose just one. Before we dive in, let's set the stage. Automation tools like these are all about connecting apps, automating repetitive tasks, and in 2025, leveraging AI to make those workflows smart. Whether it's scraping data from a website, syncing your CRM with Slack, or generating content with AI, these platforms are built to save you time and effort. But choosing the right one depends on your needs, your technical comfort level, and what you're trying to achieve. So grab a coffee, get comfortable, and let's jump into the details of Gumloop and NA10. By the end of this, you'll have a clear picture of which tool might be the best fit for you. All right, let's start with Gumloop. If you haven't heard of it yet, Gumloop is a no-code AI native automation platform that's been making waves, especially for non-technical users like marketers, operation folks, and small business owners. Owners. Launched more recently than any 10, Gumloop's big selling point is its accessibility. The tagline on their website says it all. Automate any workflow with AI, no coding required. And they mean it. This is a tool built for people who want to create powerful automations without wrestling with code or complex logic. So what's it like to use Gumloop? Picture a clean, modern interface that feels like a diagramming tool, almost like sketching out a workflow. You drag and drop nodes to build workflows called flows in Gumloop's world. These nodes can do things like scrape web data, read PDFs, extract insights with the AI, or connect to apps like Slack, Salesforce, or Google Workspace. What sets Gumloop apart is its AI-first approach. It's not just about moving data from point A to point B. It's about embedding AI into every single step. For example, their Gummy Assistant helps you build workflows by letting you describe what you want in plain English, and it generates the notes for you. I tested this by asking it to create a workflow that scrapes LinkedIn company data and summarizes it into a report. It took me about 10 minutes to set up, and I didn't touch a single line of code. That's a big win for non-developers. Another cool feature is Gumloop's self-flows, which lets you reuse smaller workflows with larger ones, keeping things modular and organized. For instance, I built a subflow to extract key info from emails and reuse it across multiple projects. This saved me a ton of time. Gumloop also shines with its MCP model contacts protocol nodes, which lets you tap into large model languages like ChatGPT or Claude without needing your own API keys. Gumloop handles the premium LLM access for you. This is huge for marketers who want to automate things like lead scoring, content generation, or customer support without diving into technical setup. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Gumloop is still a newer platform, so it doesn't have the massive integration library that older tools like NA10 or Zapier offer. If you need to connect to niche apps, you might hit a wall. I also found that while the interface is sleek, zooming and arranging complex workflows can feel clunky compared to NA10. Some users on Reddit mentioned quirks with specific nodes breaking, requiring you to ping their Slack community for help. And pricing? Gumloop's freemium plan gives you 1,000 credits to start, but paid plans kick in at about $97 per month for 30,000 credits, which can add up if you're running heavy workflows. Still, for non-technical teams who want AI-powered automation without a PhD in coding, Gumloop is truly a game changer. It's like the iPhone of automation tools, intuitive, polished, and ready to go out of the box. Now let's talk about NA10. If Gumloop is the iPhone, NA10 is more like a Linux machine. Powerful, customizable, but it expects you to know your way around. NA10 is an open source workflow automation tool that's been around since 2019, and it's built for people who love flexibility and aren't afraid of a little technical grit. It's got a huge community of developers contributing to nodes and integrations, which makes it one of the most versatile tools out there. Using NA10 feels like stepping into a playground for automation nerds. Its visual workflow designer lets you connect apps, set triggers, and build logic with a drag and drop or interface. But it also lets you dive into JavaScript for custom logic. I built a workflow that pulls data from a WordPress site, runs it through an AI model for sentiment analysis, and posts the results to Slack, all in about 30 minutes. The flexibility is insane. Want to execute custom code? You can. Need to self-host for GDPR compliance? 
clients, Anytime's got you covered. It's open source, so you can run it on your own server for as little as four to six dollars a month as something like DigitalOcean, which is a massive cost saver compared to cloud-based tools. Anytime's integration library is a beast with over a thousand integrations. It connects to pretty much any app you can think of from mainstream ones like Google Sheets and HubSpot to niche tools like Fibery. The community is constantly adding new nodes, so if you need something specific, chances are someone's already built it. I also love that Anytime supports complex logic like branching workflows and pausing for external events or merging data streams. For example, I set up a workflow that monitors a mailbox for specific email triggers, triggers an HTTP request, and processes the response with custom JavaScript. It's not something you'd easily pull off with a no-code only tool. But here's the catch. NA10 has a steeper learning curve. If you're not comfortable with APIs, webhooks, or basic coding, you'll feel overwhelmed. The interface, while functional, isn't as polished as Gumloops. Some Reddit users describe it as a utilitarian, and I agree, it provides function over form. Setup can be a hassle, especially if you're self-hosting. I spent an hour tweaking Docker settings to get it running smoothly on my server. And while the community is active, support isn't as hand-holding as Gumloops, in-app AI, or live cohorts. Pricing-wise, NA10's cloud plans start at $24 a month, but self-hosting makes it nearly free if you've got the technical chops. For developers or technical teams who need total control and don't mind rolling up their sleeves, NA10 is truly a powerhouse. So we've covered Gumloop and NA10 truly in depth. We talked about what they're good at, where they stumble, and who they're built for. Now comes the hard part. Which one do I choose? Honestly, this decision depends on who you are and what you're trying to do. But since you're asking for my personal take, here's where I land after months of using both. Let's recap the strengths. Gumloop is a dream for non-technical users. It's clean interface, AI-driven features like Gummy, and no-code focus make it perfect for marketers, ops teams, or solopreneurs who want to automate without learning to code. I loved how quickly I could spin up a workflow to scrub web data or generate content with AI. The subflows and MCP nodes are game changers for keeping things modular and leveraging LLMs without extra steps. But its integration library is smaller and the pricing starts at $97 per month for paid plans. 10. This can sting for heavy users. Plus, the occasional UI quirks and limited templates make it feel like a platform still finding its footing. And A10, on the other hand, is a developer's paradise. The open source nature, massive integration library, and the ability to run custom JavaScript give you unparalleled flexibility. I built some crazy workflows like an auto-blogging system that pulls topics, generates posts, and publishes them to WordPress, all for the cost of a $5 server. But it's not beginner-friendly. The learning curve is real, and the interface isn't as inviting as Gumloops. If you're not ready to debug APIs or configure webhooks, you'll be frustrated. So, my choice? I'm going with Gumloop, and here's why. As someone who runs a small marketing agency, I value speed and simplicity. Most of my workflows involve connecting to tools like Slack, Notion, and ChatGPT to automate client tasks. Things like lead scoring, content outlines, or customer support triage. Gumloop lets me do this in minutes without needing to call in a developer. The Gummy Assistant and live learning cohorts were lifesavers when I got stuck, and the AI native features mean I can experiment with LLMs without juggling API keys. For example, I built a workflow that pulls customer feedback from emails, summarizes it with AI, and logs it into Google Sheets, all in under 15 minutes. With NA10, the same workflow took me closer to an hour because I had to configure the logic manually. That said, NA10 is tempting for its cost and flexibility. If I were a developer building complex data-heavy automations or needing to self-host for compliance, I'd pick NA10 in a heartbeat. If you're just starting out or don't have any coding skills, I'd recommend giving Gumloop a spin. Their free plan with a thousand credits is a great way to test the waters. If you're a technical user who needs niche integrations, NA10 is your best bet, especially if you can self-host. Ultimately, it's about what fits your workflow and skill set. Let me know in the comments which one you're leaning toward or if you've tried either of these tools. And if you found this comparison helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into AI and automation tools. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.